Now, if you look at the steps of oxygen transport, it starts right from the process of ventilation, that is uptake in the lungs. From there, it is delivered to the capillaries. The capillaries, it is delivered to the tissues. How it is being delivered to the tissues through the carrying capacity of the blood. And once it is being utilized by the cell, carbon dioxide is generated, which is then eliminated by the process of respiration again. So this constitutes the oxygen transport, the entire cascade of oxygen transport. Now coming to cascade, there's something called as an oxygen cascade, which we all must remember. And this is a very important postgraduate question. The oxygen cascade describes the transfer of oxygen from the air to the mitochondria. Now, if you look at the oxygen cascade, in each step of the cascade, the partial pressure of oxygen falls. What does the oxygen cascade tell you? It demonstrates that oxygen delivery to the tissues relies on passive transfer of gas down the partial pressure gradient. That is gas which is present in a higher concentration or at a higher partial pressure in a given place is transported to another area which has got practically no oxygen or a less concentration of oxygen. So what is the thing which determines the rate and transfer of gas transfer, rate and extent of gas transfer let's say from the atmosphere to the alveoli, from the alveoli to the vessels, from the vessels to the interstitium and from the interstitium to the tissues or the cells. It is a partial pressure. The goal of this oxygen cascade is to maintain adequate oxygen content which can help in cellular function. So the take home point of this slide is oxygen cascade is dependent upon the partial pressure gradient. So partial pressure is the most important thing which determines the rate and the extent of gas transfer from one place to another place, be it the alveoli or the capillaries or the cells. Now, this is the pictorial representation of oxygen cascade. If you look at the atmospheric air, it contains a partial pressure of 159. From there, once it enters the trachea, it becomes 149. Alveoli, it comes down to 99. And from there, to the arterial blood, then tissues, and finally, the mitochondrial level. Well, this is a pictorial representation. Now, how are we arriving at these values of 159, 149, 99, and so on? Let's look at that in detail. 